I'm pretty sure you guys remember me doing a video on HR 1808, uh, which is essentially the 2022 version of the assault weapons ban that the anti-gun Democrats keep pushing every single opportunity they get to push one every single year. That said, in the coming days, the U.S. House of Representatives will be voting on two bills. One of those is H.R. 1808, which is that assault weapon ban, which essentially bans any semi-automatic rifle and, yes, even some pistols. Um, but they'll also be voting on H.R. 2814, which is a bill designed to destroy the gun industry. Essentially, what it does is it wants to get rid of and remove PLACA. For those who don't know what PLACA is, PLACA is a law, federal law, that basically protects gun manufacturers from being sued simply because one of their firearms was used in a crime. And what the anti-gun Democrats and the anti-gun lobby want to do is they want to remove this law, essentially remove this protection so that they can continue to sue gun manufacturers over and over and over and over again with frivolous lawsuits to essentially bankrupt them. And so that's what 2814 is designed to do, which is get rid of this source of protection. I know a lot of these anti-gunners like to get up there and say that the gun manufacturers are the only ones who are not held accountable or held liable for this. That's not true. That's not what this law does. It doesn't absolve them of all accountability. They make a bad product and that bad product ends up hurting something, hurting someone because they did a poor job with the safety aspect of that particular gun. Then yes, they can be sued for that. But what they can't be sued for is simply because some guy named Tom goes out, picks out, picks up a gun used by said comp made by said company, and goes out and shoots someone. Can't then turn around and then sue the gun manufacturer. That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. All that being said, when bills like this pop up, and I do videos like this, people always ask me, "Okay, this is great. I take your videos and I send them to as many people as possible so that they can hear your arguments." And I love you guys for that. I absolutely do. But you also always ask me, what else can we do? So I'm here to tell you. So right now, what we need to be doing is flooding our U.S. House of Representatives, all our representatives, with messages telling them to vote no on both of these bills, these bills, H.R. 1808 and H.R. 2814. We got to remember, they work for us. I think sometimes we forget that. We think that, oh, no, we're like under their rule. That's not how this works. They work for us. And I promise you, if enough people make enough noise, this bill will become too toxic to support, especially for those people who are liberal, who vote for Democrats, but are liberal gun owners, especially those people who live in purple states. For those individuals and those representatives who are on the left side of the aisle, but have a big population of people who are on the right side of the aisle in their particular state. So, it's incredibly important that we go out and send those messages. Now, for those of you who don't know how to contact your representative or who your representative is, what I did is if you look in the description section of this video, I put a link. That link, once you click it, you put in your zip code and some short information, and it'll literally tell you exactly who your representative is, and then also give you the ability to send them a message directly. It'll take you less than three seconds. Some of you all spend more time sliding in the DMs of different Instagram models and celebrities. So this is nothing. You have absolutely no excuse. Send messages to your representatives and tell them no on H.R. 1808 and H.R. 2814. The link for those people who don't know your representatives is in the description and make sure we do what we need to do to protect the Second Amendment. This is nothing in the grand scheme of things, but it is incredibly effective if enough people actually do it. Because if there's one thing that they need to know and understand clearly, the Second Amendment does protect the AR-15, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state. The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. It didn't say only handguns, it said arms. You know, we talk a lot about empowerment in this country, except for when it comes to the Second Amendment. However, I can't think of anything more empowering than having the most effective tool to protect you and your family. So help me spread this message by liking and sharing this video with everyone you know. And don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment because the Second Amendment, when it said militia, it wasn't talking about the government. It was talking about you. Also, if you want to know where to find the I'm the Militia shirt and merchandise, click the I'm the Militia link in the description section of this video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And most importantly, 
make sure you hit that bell symbol.